Hello guys, today we're going to learn how to use an invaluable tool, the Logic Analyzer, okay? The Logic Analyzer that we're going to use is the Celic Logic 16. By the way, I'm going to put a picture and uh, you guys can see closer what it is. And uh, like an oscilloscope, is a tool that we use to measure uh, digital signals, to analyze, to check what is going on in our circuit and uh, help you to debug and find problems. Uh, now I'm going to switch to the board and show how to use this tool, okay? See you guys. So guys, uh, how are we going to use the logic analyzer in this lab today? Basically, what we're going to do today, uh, we're going to keep the same, uh, the same project that we used in the previous video to measure distance with, the, with ultrasound, okay? And we're going to, to put the probe of the logic 16, okay? Between the PB8 and the SIG. Actually, this is the point that we, uh, that we want to capture, okay? So, the Logic 16 is going to be connected through USB to your computer, okay? And we're going to grab some signals here, okay? Let's jump to the lab and see how we can do this. Uh, I'll, I'll post a picture on, on how the, the, the Logic Analyzer is connected to our board, okay? And we jump to, to the lab to see how we configure the software of the Logic 16 to grab this signal. Okay guys, so this is, the, this is our circuit from the last lab, okay? Actually, uh, what we are interested in is to measure, okay, this blue signal here, which is actually the, the SIG signal. It's connected in the PB8 of our nuclear board, okay, directly to our ultrasonic sensor. And uh, what we are doing now, I just ch change the video and do a zoom a little bit more is to connect the, the Logic 16, okay? Actually, we are using the channel 0 that is connected directly here in the PB8, okay? Ah, also, one important thing to do. The ground connection, okay? Need to be, uh, you need to connect the ground between the board and your Logic Analyzer in the, log in, in the Logic 16, okay? So guys, uh, first thing that we need to do is to connect our probe cable to the Logic 16, okay? Basically, it's quite simple. The only thing that we need to take care of is to check if the gray uh, wire is matching the, the ground, okay? So, you just come here, it's connected, okay? The other important point is actually to use the probes, okay, are just some stuff like this, that if you press, it comes with a kind of claw that you can connect in the, any part of your signal, okay? You can, for instance, come here, and it's going to, the logic analyzer is going to, to see this signal here, okay? So, last part, you just connect the, the USB in your computer, and if you have all the, the drivers installed, it should, it should be ready, okay? Software to control our Logic 16 USB Logic Analyzer, okay? Uh, we just come to this website here. If you guys are interested in other products, they have some cool ones, okay? So this one is the Logic Pro 16, our is Logic 16. The difference is that it has like up to five, oh sorry, five uh, mega samples, okay? And uh, it also support analog inputs, okay? In our case, we I think the Logic 16 does not. So, uh, this is the actually the face of our Logic Analyzer GUI, okay? Uh, it's quite simple. Actually, uh, we connected our signal in channel 0, but if you want, you can put any name, like SIG, in this case of our ultrasonic range sensor. Uh, we can choose here to trigger Okay, trigger means stop and start capturing. Okay, in the for instance, in the rising edge, at the high, at level high, falling edge, or level low. Okay, in our case, in the rising edge. Here we can choose the uh, the sampling frequency. Okay, can go up to uh, to hundred megahertz. If you, for instance, come here and uh, and choose less channels, okay, you can have 
more or less I mean if you use all the all your channels the sampling rate drop to 16 okay so uh, for instance now we have this connected already to our uh, ultrasonic sensor and our nuclear board if you press start you see it captures something this means the point where the trigger happened okay was here if we do a zoom out like scrolling back with the mouse you see the rest of the signal okay for instance we know that our pulse should be 10 mi microseconds okay more or less this 9.98 microseconds and this oh sorry this big here this big pulse here is actually where the 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 distance information should be okay uh, this kind of thing you can do as well in a with a normal oscilloscope where actually the the, the logic analyzer chime is about these guy here the analyzers is actually is a kind of protocol analyzer for instance if we just put here uh, SPI or I2 square or any other uh, standard signal the logic analyzer will be able to decode this in normal information okay I'm going to switch to, uh, to another example that use for instance the SPI and I show you guys how it works okay guys so now just to change a little bit what I did I, uh, I connect our probes okay in a uh, in an SPI connection okay I'm going to teach a little bit about uh, about SPI and also how to implement an FPJ in future videos but imagine that what we're doing now we just plug the the probes into a standard electronic uh, communication protocol okay could be I2 square or UART or SPI whatever okay and we want to to analyze the signal okay uh, if we press here start uh, notice that here I, I ask to start uh, capturing signals in the following edge of the signal here SS which means ship select okay imagine that I put here start okay I wrote a small program in our embedded board to send some data through SPI so we choose the mode it will be mode 0 we choose some value to send 170 and the number of times that this signal will be sent let's say 5 okay so you see that it captures something and uh, actually uh, we send the value 170 171 172 3 and 4 okay 5 times in mode 0 so let's do a zoom so here we have the clock here we have some bits and here we have the ship select actually we start at this point here because we said that we want to start our capture on the falling edge okay now something that is really cool actually we just by looking at this we don't know what uh, what information we have here so that's why we use the analyzers so we can come here we say SPI these are all the the protocols that uh, that the logic analyzer support we said that for the MOSI signal we want MOSI for MISO we say none because we don't have it clock the SCK by the way I just renamed these signals okay guys this is just channel 0, 1 and 2 okay and enable SS uh, the most significant bit this we keep we are sending 8 bits but we are sending 1 byte at a time actually are in the mode zero so clock low and, and uh, leading edge phase low as well and the enable is active low so let's save okay uh, actually here he just asking to rename some signals okay rename so you see that here now instantaneously you see what this information here means okay if we do a zoom out and we scroll the right we just click and and pen we have here 171 172 okay which by the way is information that we just send here okay so the last should be 
174 so if we just click here that's it 174 by the way you still can use the measurement tabs to see for instance here you have a period of uh, 0 0.3 microseconds if you want to add more information like uh, show frequency you see okay so that's it that's it guys uh, if you have any other doubt on how to use a logic analyzer or uh, if I can <laughs> put my hands in a new logic analyzer to show to you guys as well how it works just uh, tell me and send me a message okay hope you guys enjoyed if you like it give me a thumbs up